Hi, in this tutorial we're going to step through how to register your application with Active Directory and this will be needed later on uh, when you create a key vault. So as you can see, um, the very first thing you need to do is get into the Microsoft Act Azure portal. Click on um, Active Directory on the bottom left hand corner of the page. Then scroll up to App Registrations. Then you're going to see a plus sign saying New Application Registration. Click on that. Give your application a name. Then the next thing, provide the URL for your application. So, choiceful.com, demo, key vault, app and click Create. It's going to take a while. Okay. So as you can see at the bottom of the page, we do have the um, app that I just created. Click on that. Then copy the application ID because you need this in your application. So launch notepad and paste it into notepad then the next thing we go we're going to do is uh, go to settings click on settings and click on keys so here give it a name i'll give it initial key and set the duration that you want this key to to live for click on save and this part is very important make sure you copy the value of the key because you would not be able to um, access it once um, you exit out of that page. So I'm going to label these values. Um, here we're calling it app ID, but you can also, sometimes I see it call, being called client ID or client key. So now let's go back to keys again, just to show you that if you go back again, if you can notice that key value is no longer displayed. So let's exit out of all of that. And let's close out of that. Then come back to our um, application.config file in Java. So delete the previous bad setting from the prior video. So the awesome thing about Spring is um, they have provided these settings where you can uh, paste in your um, application key and application um, ID. So to take a step back, um, when you have an application that acts or modifies other resources, it's very imperative that you set up um, the application with Azure Active Directory and assign um, the required permissions. Um, another thing is um, the reason why we're creating your application inside Active Directory is you need to treat your application just like another user in Active Directory because what does Active Directory do? Active Directory gives people permissions to do certain stuff to resources. So the same way that you may treat a, a user, admin, set the roles and whatnot, that's the reason why uh, for security purposes 
we're registering our application with the uh, Azure Active Directory. So in the next video, I'll show you how we'll tie everything together, um, taking, creating a Azure Key Vault, then we're going to provide the um, Azure Key Vault URL to make your application secure.